Hello to our dear friends and our beautiful souls watching a new episode of Positive Living. Today, let's contemplate for a moment. If you feel like your life has become this endless spiral of the same day on repeat, to break that habit, I find that there's two folds approach to this problem. On the one end, look at where you would like your life to be in 50 years. That is your long-term goal. Now break that down into middle-term goals and then short-term goals. From there, you feed into what your day-to-day -day should look like. On the other end of fixing this problem or this dilemma, let's break down our days right now. Write down your day, journal it down now. The things that make you feel better, do more of them. The things that drain you, try and tweak them or even take them out of your schedule entirely. And with that, we can break the cycle of endless days on repeat. And of course, lead a more positive life. Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Positive Living. Today we are going to talk about fillers. I know that you know all of you about fillers, but there's, there's a lot of information that you don't know. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, one of them is the uh, permanent fillers. Uh, all of you have seen a lot of problems on the social media and the social media about permanent fillers. A lot of patients are suffering, a lot of patients uh, have uh, abscess and have discharge and they have been admitted to hospitals taking a lot of medicines affecting their social life and their life because of these permanent fillers. Permanent fillers were in the market since about 15 years because it was the only option. But with the scientific uh, progress fillers have been uh, now the, the very advanced technology, the very advanced technology, uh, and been uh, very, very safe for the face and the body because they have been uh, done in the, uh, by a new technology that can mimic the uh, hyaluronic acid of the body, of the skin. So. What they do is that they produce the hyaluronic acid from a bacteria uh, inside the lab that can be inert and we can put it in any part of the face or the body without any problems. So it would be very safe, uh, but there is one problem that there are different uh, labs. There are different labs. They are very different regarding the technology. So we have labs or companies that they can do the hyaluronic acid very safely with very high technology and they can make it very very uh, uh, safe with no any other materials inside and it can stay for about one year but there are other labs that they are sh sheep labs and they are not very scientific they produce uh, hyaluronic acid with very uh, or uh, not very they are l with little uh, efficacy and they have they can do some problems and they will stay for about three to four months so it's about the technology and about the companies that you that they are doing the filler so you have to differentiate between the types of filler we have hyaluronic acid we have calcium hydroxylactate, and we have uh, the permanent filler is the Aqualift. Aqualift have been obsolete from all the all the all the countries. It's not uh, injected in any of the countries, and it's very forbidden. You have to ask about it. Don't do it. It's very cheap, so the, a lot of patients they don't know about it, but they prefer to be <coughs> injected about it. The other type, which is hyaluronic acid, which is the famous filler uh, around the world. Uh, and I have, uh, as I have told you, hyaluronic acid with different companies, there's hyaluronic acid can stay for one year, hyaluronic acid will stay about three to four months, 
this is a little bit expensive and this is very cheap. So you have to, uh, you have to choose what, what filler or hyaluronic acid you want. And this is the common filler that we are using. Uh, the third one is the calcium hydroxyleptide. It's, it's been uh, made from some calcium. So it's, uh, it looks like milkish, white, and it stays for about two years. This has been uh, produced for certain uh, uh, uses, only for uh, if you want to put it on, the, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on top of the pole. Uh, on top of the bone so that can be stay for about two years. It, uh, we can use it for the chin, we can use it for the cheeks, only for these areas because it will stay for longer time. Okay, it's enough now. I will talk about it more after the break. See you soon. Welcome back. We are going to uh, continue what we have been talking about, the fillers. We, we have been talking about the calcium hydroxyleptide and we, we, uh, I told you that uh, this calcium uh, is only for certain uses. It has a little bit problem that it cannot be solved. So if, if the doctor who put it put it wrongly or the patient doesn't like it after he put it, we cannot dissolve it. It needs a, li a, a little bit more experience to dissolve it uh, and it's very painful and we cannot dissolve it. So you have to be careful when you put this calcium, but it's very safe also. So the, in my opinion, hyaluronic acid is the most safe and the most, uh, uh, يعني, we can modulate it, we can do whatever we want, we can dissolve it by hyaluronidase, a little, a little a very small uh, uh, fluid, we can put it and we can dissolve what we have put if the patient doesn't like the, uh, the results. So I, I see that hyaluronic acid is very good. Regarding that, we will talk about the permanent filler. Permanent filler, I see a lot of patients who are coming to my clinic and they are suffering from the previous permanent filler. They have a lot of deformities around the face, under the eyes, and the chin, and they are suffering. One of them is putting her hair always on her face so that she can uh, uh, cover this deformity. And the, all the doctors, they don't want to touch it. It is very difficult to uh, treat these patients, but with experience, some experience, uh, I treat them well without dissolving, without removing, without anything. We, put, we can treat this deformity and retain the normal appearance of the face and the cheek with the cannula, injection, injecting the hyaluronic acid over it with cannula, never without a needle, so we can regain the deformities. I have patients who are very appreciated and they are thanking me a lot because I, I, they regain their uh, trust in, their, in, the, in themselves and uh, she put her hair back now and she regained her normal life. Uh, we can treat this patient without uh, surgery, without anything, uh, but it needs a, lo a lot of experience and it needs an experienced doctor. So, with a, uh, in a summary, fillers is very delicate, very safe, uh, very, very uh, uh, can change. It can change the, the life of the people or the patient and it can give him trust if it's been put by an experienced doctor and who knows how to treat it well and with a natural look without this fake uh, appearances that we are seeing a lot uh, in, the, uh, in the streets and our clinics. Uh, I hope that I have uh, talked it well. 
uh, see you in the next episode next or in my clinic thank you very much